I have a very distinct memory of being three years old and telling my mom that I could have a horse and I would put it in the bathtub and I would take very good care of it. And it, there has not been a step backward since then. I was pretty committed from day one. My name is Katie Craddock. I am one of the co-owners of Grassy Bit Tack and CL Custom Saddles. I am also our chief saddler and senior saddle fitter. I have a scale of my favorite tools. Tool number one is a 1942 Air Corps sewing machine named Bertha. She is my most prized possession. Tool number two, it's called a rain roller. Um, it is a piece of metal with, actually it's probably steel and it's over hundred years old. It's bolted to my table and it's how we round leather. Making saddles has absolutely affected the way that I see horses in the horse industry. At the end of the day, we, we the saddle, are the platform between the rider and their horse. And it's our job to set all up for success and keep them safe. And the amount of education that we have to put out to counter dangerous situations is wild. And I wouldn't have expected that. It is very important to me to get women into this industry. It is, the leather craft side of it is historically male dominated. And a lot of that reason is because access is restricted for women or other minorities. In the last five years, I would say there has been a huge boom in women in this industry, which is the coolest. When it comes to the daily rider, majority, of those with horses and riding are women. So we should have women who are able to effectively service and maintain saddles and equipment for women and give them access to that knowledge and ability. We are passionate about supporting women in this industry by a couple different routes. One, we employ women and only women. Um, we also partner with area 4-H groups to ensure that those kiddos, who are primarily girls, but boys as well, have access to this education. They get to come into the shop, they get to come into the store and learn about what's right, and learn about what's wrong, or just tear stuff apart and see what the insides look like. That's pretty cool. 